If you click this video, I am so sorry that you're feeling this way. But don't worry, after watching this video, I'm sure you will feel way much better because I know how it feels as an artist when art isn't fun anymore. Before I start this video, a small disclaimer, all the things I'm going to talk about today are based on my own experience. Six reasons why you might think art isn't fun anymore with a special bonus at the end of this video, which you have to listen. All right, let's begin. Number one, art isn't a hobby anymore. Most of the time we artists start drawing as a hobby to spend our free time and we draw whatever we want without caring about any fundamentals, theories. And then we start to think, oh, why don't we just make this drawing a career? Then we can earn money by doing what we love to do. Wrong. Whenever you will try to monetize your hobby, you will lose the fun. Because now your client or your boss actually giving you money in return of your service. So your service have to be top notch. So not only you have to face a lot of criticism for your work, you also have to make a lot of artwork that you didn't really like, but your clients did. On top of that, if you are in a freelancing world like me, not only you have to be good at your job, but also have to be good at communication, marketing yourself and so on. But Suze, we need money to live and why would I do something else when I can get paid for drawing? True. That is where we come to point number two, you lost passion for your art. For example, I worked as a full-time 2D animator for one and a half years. And in case you don't know how animation work, to animate one second of scene, you actually have to draw almost 24 frames. And every day for eight hours, I was making five to six seconds of animation. Even though I always loved animated film or anime, I started hating it and realized, nah, animation is not for me. Moral of the story, whenever we try to force ourselves to do something, we get burned out. It doesn't have to be only about career. Maybe you are still a hobby artist and you are trying to build a social media community. Stop putting pressure on yourself. Art is a creative work. You cannot force your creativity. You have to give time and patience to be more creative. This is why artists are most of the time really bad at 9 to 5 job. But Suze, I cannot just quit my job. Remember, I need money and this is my dream job. Well then, maybe you don't have any goals. Goals. It doesn't matter if art is your hobby or career, you need goals in your life. Goal setting means you are trying to achieve something you haven't done in your life, which means getting out of your comfort zone and doing or learning something new. So from next time, rather than just finishing your work for money or just for posting on social media, try to learn something new from each work. For example, maybe you are also an animator like me and your client or boss tells you to animate something very expressive tomorrow, rather than thinking like, Oh no, I have to draw so many frames. I have been drawing the same face every day. I hate drawing expressions. I hate my job. Change your mindset and start to think like, okay, today I can practice drawing some expression and maybe I will going to learn something new. That's how you are not only making money, but also learning something new. And if you keep this mindset every day, trust me, you will start to find the love for your art you had because you will start to see some improvement. And that is how we come to point number four, you hit a plateau. You see, improvement is not a linear process. It takes a lot of time and practice, especially if you are not a beginner artist anymore, because now you know all those fancy words like anatomy, perspective, value, color theory, and you are trying to learn all of them. And whenever you are looking at your work now, you will start to see so many mistakes. That eyes are out of perspective, that hands have some extra muscles. Oh no, I don't even know how to draw a proper circle anymore. What am I doing? After drawing for years, maybe more than a year, five years, six years? Ah! Welcome, Welcome, imposter syndrome. Okay, maybe I'm being a little too dramatic, but that's what happened to me. And then comes self-criticism and comparing with others. Every day in social media, we see so many good artists and their amazing artwork. Consciously or unconsciously, you will start to compare your work with theirs and will start to criticize every small mistakes you make. And to be honest, it's pretty normal behavior and it can help you improve your art. But there is two ways of comparing yourself to others. One, you might see some great artwork and you keep telling yourself, I will never be able to draw like that. Everyone is better than me. What's the point of trying? etc etc and you give up or you can tell yourself i love the way she draw eyes i want to try that too or one day i will be able to paint something like this or better than this also remember the point number three maybe you set a goal for yourself this month you are going to learn how to draw eyes like them or paint hair like them that way rather than feeling down you will actually feel much more motivated to work harder I don't recommend quitting social media or restricting yourself from seeing better art because we artists get inspiration or ideas from everywhere. So you have to be open to receive next great idea. 
Also, doom scrolling on Pinterest or Instagram is not good either. And I know how hard it is to put down your phone and actually create something your own. Number 6, enjoy the process. I don't think there is anything to explain on this point because if you are not enjoying the working process anymore, no matter what you do, you will never find the fun of art. If you are bored working for someone else or on someone else's project, why don't you get your own project? It doesn't have to be the next great animated film or the next best webcomic. It can just be a single illustration or a 3-4 to four illustration series. Get a project and work on it on your free time. And finally, the bonus point. Take care of your health. If you are struggling with your health, you will never find fun on anything. I think this is a topic least talked about in art community. Every artist always say, Practice, 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 work hard, draw every day, be consistent, hustle, hustle, hustle. But nobody ever talked about how to take care of yourself. Your body and mind should be the most important things in your life, more than money, fame, followers. Last 2-3 to three months, I have struggled so much with my cervical spine and my working hand. I had to quit my job. I almost thought I have to give up my career. I tried everything, doctors, different medical treatments, physiotherapy, nothing helps. Until I start doing yoga and stretches every day. I made it a habit. Take breaks every 30 minutes, drink a lot of water, go for a walk. These all are free and not only good for your physical health but also your mental health. Going to gym or for a walk actually distract me from all the worries I have for my career and afterward I feel fresh to keep work. So start to take care of yourself. Well, that's it for today. I hope this video helped you. If you have any tips for me, please comment below. Thank you so much for watching until the end and I will see you in the next video. Bye.